Okay, good. We made it up there. Let me up. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak in the sights. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary <laughs> method of communication. Gotta love it. I don't... Well, actually, no, 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 no. The... Uh, what's it called? Pre-sequel takes place on this planet. Uh, the moon, actually, doesn't it? Because I was going to say, we'd never been here before in any of the other uh, Borderlands games, but we were actually... You actually go here in the pre-sequel. Now, granted, I've never played the pre-sequel, so I, I don't... No, that's true. I know there's a moon involved, so I'm guessing it must be this right here. That's kind of cool, though. I was gonna say we should go here at some point. But once I get to the pre-sequel, then I guess, uh, we'll get to it then. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back. Put up your feet, vent some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say. Home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. <laughs> sure. You build this office yourself? <laughs> Did I build it? With... No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do manual labor. <laughs> so, such an asshole. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm going to kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the spirit. There we go. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. Yeah, kind of redundant. Who's this? Or backwards, rather. Oh, uh... Yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. If that's cool. You know, truthfully, I read a, I've read about Jack's backstory and how he got the, the face over his, and you know that whole thing, and. Truthfully, he actually was a decent guy. It's just that he kind of went a little psycho, you know, towards the end, I guess. I, I guess it was truthfully at the end of the pre-sequel that we begin to see that. Because, if I'm not mistaken, you can play as Claptrap. I think Athena is one of the playable characters in that. Again, I could be wrong. I don't remember. I, and I, I've never played it, so I don't know. And then Jack, I think, is actually another playable character in the pre-sequel. And that game is where we see how Jack became Jack. I mean, amongst other things, and again, I don't want to know any spoilers because I want to try and learn about the game on my own, but it is kind of cool that he wasn't actually always a dick. The scarred, once upon a time same moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um... Yeah, let's go just go look for the thing real quick. See if it's over Welcome here. Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Yeah, not bad. Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. 
Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie! Guessing it's not that. Let's I'm guessing it's it. sexy hat. I'm guessing it's not that. Unidentified corporate object X. Probably not that simple. You know what? Let's try the gun. In a uh, magnificent shotgun. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, this, this shotgun is legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to look through these. Hang on, let's see this. The hat. Nope, but cute cowboy hat. Cowgirl. Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my... Girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. Oh yeah, my <laughs> man. My man. What about this? So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wonder what I'm guessing that must be right there. Yeah, yeah, I go deep. Yeah, <laughs> belong to that jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. <laughs> you, you cut off their goatee. Okay, duly noted. Negative. Yeah, that's it. Figured that's so. The, the U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not nice. much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. Is he gonna try and kill me on the way down, though? I don't think so. No, 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 no. He, he, he likes us too much, and we're basically him now at this point. More or less. And with that Gordon. So this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. <laughs> it's where the magic happens. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. It's getting into position. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Yes, hold, please. Grab something to hold it up. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. <laughs> Shut up, Gordis. So, if we could wield Hyperion's mic together, 
How would you rule? Hypothetical. Of course. But still, you gotta know what you want. If you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd get payback. Valerie and Yvette, for starters. Oh, if we had Hyperion under our control, we could take out anybody you wanted, baby. Yeah, you could even find Vaughn. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? I'm gonna this take him in a different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in a so different direction. I was kind of now, pushing him away, but I want my playthrough to be different. I want to rule with him. We're gonna do this. I'd say there's no rush, but uh... <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yes, you, you are my favorite dude. So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it. <laughs> Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time. I'm gonna do it, man. We're doing it. Come here. That's it. <laughs> here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running high period. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh, God. It's, it's priceless. So... Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, man, it feels good to get out of there. Shit. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So... What happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping. Because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives, totally president material, all the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, Elpis. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome goddamn Jack. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, I did not see that coming. So, I am interested to see. Yeah, so see, look at that. It's actually 50 50 split. Almost 50-50. I'm, I'm a bit of a minority who chose to rule Hyperion. That's really, really cool. I mean, I'm figuring in the long run, it's actually going to be better for us. I'd imagine. I mean, we only have one more episode left, so I have no idea how it's going to play out. Uh, but let's starting from Fiona's side here. You and 13.1% of people... Or you and 13.1% of players stuck to the plan. Really? Instead of... I thought it would have been higher than that. I feel like a dick now. I mean, I, I'm curious to see how it would play out if we actually honored, well, I guess kind of honored, yeah, I honored, um, Scooter. That's, huh, really low compared to what I thought it would be. I'm in the majority here. You and 59.6% of players tried to stop the tower, the tour group from dying. Well, <laughs> probably it looks like he would have run through it regardless. Majority, you and 71.6% of players shot an innocent diamond pony. <laughs> so the thing was really, it was alive. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> you had 61.6% of players claim to search your database. Oh, okay, that just makes sense. And yeah, players knocked Yvette out. That's probably the smart way to do it. And then 50% of players chose to rule Hyperion. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Well, that was cool. I... Um... Well, I really enjoyed that. That was that was really cool. You know, I'm I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out once we get to the last episode because the last episode is episode five. Then we are done with um, with Tales from the Borderlands. So you know, part of me is kind of sad that it is coming to an end, but part of me really hopes that we're going to get a sequel. Now, granted, depending on how it ends, yeah, I, I don't know. But with the name, it's interesting because it's Tales from the Borderlands. So that implies, the name alone implies that it could be multiple people. So if it, if, if this last episode, episode 5, puts a nice bow on everything, nice cherry on top, and wraps up everyone's stories, everything's done, we could tackle new people for a season 2, and that would be really cool. I mean, you don't have to follow the same characters along the whole time in order to have a good, good story. I mean, you can tell great small stories just by just by you know doing season off season you know one season off kind of things and if they do follow new people for a proposed season two if season two even happens yeah i don't know um it'd be it'd be kind of cool it'd be kind of cool um but yeah as a whole i really did like this episode it was pretty good uh and i i i'm kind of glad that i waited on playing these from well kind of kind of glad and kind of not because it would have been nice to experience it right when it came out but at the same time, it is cool that I finished episode 4 and I can go straight to episode 5 now with no delay. So, truthfully, that's what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. And now, and again, those of you who really wish you could see my face for this, sorry, I just wanted to kind of keep this a traditional kind of let's play. And we're going to do the same thing for episode 5 because I'm going to record that uh, directly after this. Now, when it comes to something like the Life is, like Life is Strange... Uh, potentially I could wrap up that series with using face cam and streaming it because a few of you have actually asked me to play it and I might I might just do that I might just do that um, but again like something like Game of Thrones probably not we'll probably do that as a traditional kind of thing as well uh, but yeah and again hopefully everything looked pretty good today because I am actually recording this with fraps where for the longest time I actually wasn't able to because my processor wasn't able to keep up and record it at a decent frame rate but since I've upgraded my processor I've actually been able to get pretty uh pretty good solid frame rate out of it now you may have noticed a dip every once in a while but i guess it's not that big of a deal but as a whole let me know what you thought of the color what uh, everything looked like however he, uh, you know the, basically just the overall quality of the video let me know and i guess uh with that guys i want to thank you for watching i'm in hell of japan this has been tales from the borderlands episode four and i'll see you guys in episode five I'll see you then. See ya.